Leanne here, just sitting here on my porch having coffee with all of you. And look, it's overcast, so I think it's going to rain today. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. i got to go check the rain catchment system to make sure it's all connected properly. I need to go hill up those potatoes. I need to do a couple things. Oh, it's starting to sprinkle. I better get going. See these potatoes? They're getting pretty tall. I'm just going to go ahead and cover all these other ones up and hill these up to about right here. And hopefully they'll grow, grow me some potatoes. All right, there we go. That's not how I usually do it because normally the, the potato plants are all growing at pretty much the same rate, but they aren't, so I just kind of made it a bigger hill over here, and I can bring the soil up here later. So hopefully that'll work. It's starting to rain. Oh, and look at this. The other day I was out here, and I know what is doing this to my carrots. It was one of those caterpillars. Remember the, the tent worms? It was one of those and it's just gone through and basically decimated these carrots. Same with the other one in the raised bed. So, I don't know. We're just going to have to see how that goes. Um, this pepper plant is doing very well. My little pepper fruit is growing. And that makes me happy. Um, yep, makes me very happy. Pepper plant's doing fine. That's jalapeno. This is a, a red cayenne. These are still, I don't know what they're doing, doing nothing. This one looks like it might be a tomato plant. And look at this bloom. Sorry, I'm moving so fast. Here's one bloom right here. It's getting ready to open. And I've got another bloom here. So I may have some fruits eventually. So that's good news. Yeah. And uh, then I've got some flowers that are starting to start in this one. These... Uh, Potato buckets, or potato buckets, these buckets seem to be doing a lot better than the raised beds. However, this pepper plant over here is doing just fine, and it's starting to get some little flowers on it too. So, everything else is just kind of the same. You know, the uh, Brussels sprouts, they're surviving. Look at these, they actually survived, so I am probably going to go ahead and build little trellises out of sticks for them. And, uh, oh, I've got to pull that weed. There, this is finally taking off, and I'm going to get some flowers. So that makes me happy. So many yellow, yellow leaves. I think it's a combination of lack of water and lack of nutrients. So i got to get some nutrients in there. But look, look. I've got a little flower. I've got one on here. I've got another one on there. There are flowers on every single one of these tomato plants, so at least there's something, you know? And let's take a look at these. They're not doing anything too fantastic. I think there was a bloom on one, but it looks like it's missing now. So I don't know if these are gonna last and give me any, any good beans, but we'll just have to wait and see. So this is what's going on, and um, you know what? At least everything is not dead yet, except for this is practically dead. My watermelon, oh my gosh. Um, I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see how things go. Uh, when it stops raining, I'm going to pick all these uh, weeds. and Oh, look at this. Look, I pulled up a uh, Brussels sprout, a few Brussels sprout plants, and I just plunked them down in the earth, and they're growing. So, I don't know. Maybe I can grow in this soil. All right, let's go take a look at some other places. Would you look at that? This is my Willy Wonka garden. And I'm doing basically nothing to it. I haven't even really weeded it. And look, these little zucchini plants are growing. I wish I would have spaced them out a little bit more, but I'm not going to mess with them now. And the flowers, there's going to be some flowers. So this really, really surprises me. And look at those onions. Look, look. I'm glad they're growing. Um, Let's see. Oh, yeah, that... Uh, that Brussels sprout plant that I transplanted did make it. Uh-uh. <laughs> Alrighty. And look. Uh, the dill is starting to kind of get a little bit taller. This is that mammoth dill. It's trying, trying, trying to grow. Nothing earth shaking. And this is just in plain old soil here on my Tennessee homestead. Got lots of clay in it. But it is finally trying to start getting taller. So that's good. Good news, this anthill seems to be dead. Uh, this is the one that I poured the vinegar on first and then I 
poured that one kind of ant killer on it with, I don't know what was in it, maybe borax or something like that. Um, and then I use the diatomaceous earth and they have moved somewhere. I don't know where. Um, they had been just kind of moving back and forth from here to here. But this one is also dead. Basically this is dead. So I think the diatomaceous earth worked. Uh, I think it really did work. Now there is an ant hill over there. So maybe they just moved over there. Which you know what? It's fine. You gotta pick your battles. You know what I mean? You just have to pick your battles. If those ants want to live over there, fine. Let them. They're further away from the tiny house and I don't have to worry about it so much. In fact, I came out here and poked an ant hill the other day and a whole bunch of them came out. Yup. There it is. Yeah. That's still an active ant hill. Big time. So, maybe they just moved over here, which is completely fine with me. And would you look at that cilantro. This, this is the new stuff that I planted. This is the old stuff. It's already starting to go to seed. I'm just going to let it go. I don't care. Um, this is all pretty much the same. It's doing just fine. And this over here is starting to expand. You know, God really is good. I had been kind of down and discouraged, but some of these things are growing well. Um, not everything is growing well. But that's okay. Some things are doing really good. Oh, check this out, you guys. Can you see? Can you see what I got down there? I got a whole packet of those. And they are just kind of like in this porous kind of plastic thing. But yeah, there's a whole bunch down there. You can smell them, and I do not even care. And yeah, more cilantro. This one's multiplying. Basically, all of these lilies are growing just fine. So that makes me really very happy. Look at this, you guys. I've got this parked right up against the tiny house where the, the rain comes off of the roof all the way up there. And it looks like I am starting to get some water in here. I don't know if this is actually watertight, but it looks like it is. Maybe I got those uh, bolts tight enough. I don't know. If it leaks, what I can do is, uh, well, I can seal it, but I can also just throw a tarp in there and just collect some water right in here. And I'm going to be collecting water in this as well. So let's pray that I get some water. And yet these carrots not doing so hot. I imagine it was a caterpillar that came through here and ate off a lot of their tops. But look at this. These beans, they are still discolored, but they're doing better. There's multiple blooms on each one now. So that means I'm going to get some beans. Oh, look. Look, you guys. Oh. A little bean. That's a little bean right there. I'm gonna get beans. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at all these poor yellow leaves. So it's time to start feeding these plants, absolutely. But look at these cucumbers. They're just trying to reach up and grow. Oh, ho, ho. You know what? I need to not get so discouraged. And look at this. Look at this. It is trying to grow, trying so hard. So I prayed really hard last night and um, you know what? I think things are going to be okay. And look at this. I'm collecting. Oh! Oh no, is it dead? It's dead! It couldn't get out! Oh no! Oh, that poor thing. Yeah, it's hard. It's pretty hard. I think what happened is, because um, I don't think they can crawl up the sides of these buckets, I think what happened is it got up, it was, this bucket was right up against that cinder block and it crawled in and it just couldn't get back out, that poor, poor thing. Well, I'm going to have to give him a proper burial. Well, it's a good thing I came out here and check this out. I got to get this fixed quickly. Look at that. The water is coming down really well and I've already got a little bit of water down in there. So great. This is going to be fine. I think uh, the wind came by and just kind of blew it over because it was pretty much empty. So, I'm getting water again, guys. Whew. I think I'm going to pull this outside, too. I'm going to put that plug down in the middle and see if I can get some water collected in them. I've got these two little tubs. Anything is going to help. So, I'm just pulling these out somewhere where I can get a bunch of, get a bunch of water. This area seems to get quite a lot of water drainage. So, i got this set up out here. I've got these two over here. Hopefully, I'll get plenty of water. 
I wanted to show you guys too. I was out walking around my property and I found this big bush and it has these white flowers all over it and in big bunches of it and some of them some of them look like they've got like the startings of little berries on it and Wholesome Roots a couple days ago she posted a tweet that said that it's the season for elderberries and she posted a photo that looked pretty much like this one so I pulled up PlantNet and they, the first one that came up was black elderberry. The second one is red elderberry. And I got to admit, it does look more like the black elderberry. And here's a photo of the actual berries from other people's photos and whatnot. So, and I know you can make wine, you can make syrup from them. Uh, so you know what? I really am hoping this is what it is. So you guys tell me, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I would love to make some elderberry wine. Well, it looks like it's starting to calm down with the rain, so I may go out and gallivant out for a little while. I'm actually really tired. I got up in the middle of the night last night and could not get back to sleep, so I may end up laying down and taking a nap. Well, anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.